Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com and welcome to another wonderful episode of The Dog Pound, aka that dumb show where Sydney makes really bad jokes. This week's wallpaper comes to you from user the Super Trooper 622 This person recommended penguins, and so I created a wallpaper of a penguin. Thank you for the suggestion. Let's get on to the comments. The first comment comes from Facebook. Whenever I decided to stop by Phone Dog's Facebook page to see what you guys were up to, Zulfikar Mirwani said, What is sup peeps? It won't make you look cool. <laughs> As if I need things to make me look cool. Okay, things don't make me look cool. I make things look cool. Like, for example, your comment. Without me, it would just be another blurb on Facebook, but I take it and make it look magical. Yeah, magical. You're welcome. This next video was left for one of the videos that we posted to YouTube when we did an HD video sample using a current smartphone, and VidAction said, the video is almost as bad as Sydney's bad jokes. Hey. I have feelings, okay? And I don't appreciate you bad-mouthing my jokes like that, alright? I spent a lot of time coming up with these jokes. You know, the sad thing is that's actually true. I, I really do spend a lot of time coming up with these jokes. Yeah, what do you do on your Monday? I read comments. Yeah. The next comment is from PhoneDog.com. It was posted on the last Dog Pound video that I did, and Tony Tone said, I wish Sydney would comment on my comment from my last comment in which I confessed my love and proposed to her. Why won't you love me? Tony, 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 Tony. You and I, we just weren't made for each other. I mean, you live in Florida, I live in Dallas. You root for the Heat, I root for the Mavericks. In what world could we ever be together? Besides a world where the Heat and Mavericks don't exist, but let's be honest, that world just doesn't exist. We're always going to have the NBA. I mean, the only way we wouldn't have the NBA is if there was like a colossal battle between jerks who are super greedy and can't decide how to split a couple million dollars between billionaires and millionaires, and let's face it, that's just not going to happen. I'm sorry, Tony. I'm sorry. The next comment is from YouTube. Username Chez117 said, Turkeys. Just thought I'd share that with you. We can now move on to the next comment. This comment is also from YouTube. Like OMJ said, Hey Sydney, can you do a makeup tutorial? It would be way more interesting. Hmm, a makeup tutorial. Maybe I could do that. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to apply eyeshadow. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but Sydney, isn't the method for applying eyeshadow completely simple and obvious? Yes, yes it is. But I have to do something with my life. So after you've applied the concealer or foundation to your eyes, as well as any other blemishes you feel you need to cover up in order for people to accept you, we're going to apply the eyeshadow. So the first thing we need to do is open the eyeshadow case. Next, take your eyeshadow brush. I'm going to use the MAC 213 brush. Now I don't necessarily know if this is an eyeshadow brush per se, but it's small enough and I got a good deal on it and I could really care less. So take the brush and apply some of the eyeshadow powder to the brush. Next, take the brush with the eyeshadow on it and apply it to your eyelid, not to your cheek or to your forehead, but to your eyelid itself. Now, you don't want to put too much on because you don't want to look like a slut or something, but just enough to where a guy can say, okay, maybe she doesn't have the best personality, but she's pretty enough to tolerate for a couple of dates. Try to find a balance somewhere in there. Then we're going to take our third color and apply that to the top. Now obviously, the more insecure you are, the more makeup you're going to have to wear. But that just comes with the territory, you know. Mm -hmm. 
Now remember, the worse your personality, the more makeup you're going to have to wear in order for men to be attracted to you. So there you go, how to put on eyeshadow. Now remember, this is only one piece of the puzzle. You're going to have to put a lot more junk on your face in order to get men to be attracted to you because we know that men are super picky with women. I mean, they won't sleep with just anybody. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you guys later. Bye! So that's the show. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a comment below with a suggestion for a wallpaper and I may use it in next week's show. But continue to leave your funny, random, and weird comments. I'll continue to read them and one of them could be featured. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh.